four of endocrine and metabolism we have our final Friday currently um I went to the gym this morning I just went for the first day yesterday and let me just tell you like not only is this house perfect not only is this neighborhood perfect but now our gym is perfect too and I'm just so excited about life right now and the people the vibes the music the programming like everybody's so fit they're so nice oh I'm just so happy here like, I think we might actually like Colorado after a while of living here. So for those of you who saw my vlogs from the beginning of starting school, it's just drastically, like, 180 difference, like, holy moly. It's too bad it took us a year to get here, but we're really, we're really happy here. <laughs> anyway, so, it's a week in the life vlog. I'm really excited to show you through endocrine and metabolism, like, finishing up that block, taking the final, plus, like, you know, living in the house, our new routines, our new area. So right now I'm thinking since we just got a little picnic blanket from Target, that means Oakley are going to go to the park and I'm going to watch lectures there because all my devices were charging while I was at the gym. So I think we're good. It's going to be like really good vibes and I don't think it's going to rain. So let's do that. <laughs> also, I still want to paint my Alex drawers um, pink <laughs> and basically I just don't want to do anything with the office until like something's changed up. I also like, here's the current state. Also, these are backwards because if you remember in the apartment, the long one went this way, but now I want it here. Um, so anyway, that's purposely keeping this a mess. Nothing, not doing anything with it till those projects are done. <laughs> easy afternoon, the clouds covered in gray, third coffee of the day. Ooh, almost fell asleep on Tons, And they produce insulin. So here's a graphic, I think a really nice picture of where the pancreas is nestled deep okay. in your belly um, <laughs> in a place where you can't really get to it. So, um, because I yawn at the display, third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops that dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth. Cause I can stay inside and step away inside. Oh. All right, it's 2.50 and just got done with all the lectures. I did most of my Anki cards except for the very last lecture I just watched, which is like 15 cards. So I'm just gonna like, actually what I wanna do is go home and do some practice questions. Since we have our final, I think it'd be good to do a big chunk of practice questions each day leading up to Friday. But anyway, that was really fun. I'm really ready to go home, but it was really fun like in between when I would finish a lecture and finish the Anki cards for that lecture, then I'd like throw the ball for Oakley for five minutes and it was just a good time. Now she's growling at somebody carrying a bunch of soccer stuff. But anyway, back home. <laughs> Like right now on the maps, it says 26 minutes, which is like right there. Um, so I also have my gym bag because I'm going to go running with a classmate during lunchtime. Let's go. Oh, also, I'm doing the head to toe physical exam during docs this morning, so I have to learn that after I do my Anki. <laughs> Got to campus and we haven't moved the camper van up to home yet it's still uh, near campus so I just wanted to check on it make sure it's doing good now we will head to the parking lot <laughs> nothing 
Feeling like you're smiling in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave basically haven't been vlogging since Wednesday because George's sister and her boyfriend flew into town. So recap, Tuesday, was that Tuesday? I was, no, Wednesday. I went for that run even though my friend bailed on me, which I'm just really proud of because I'm really good at talking myself out of working out. Um, Wednesday night, we went to an EDM concert at Red Rocks, which first time there, it was amazing. Cool venue. Thursday, we went to Denver, ate at Snooze for brunch, and then went to Boulder later in the day to like show them touristy stuff. I don't know. Boulder is like our favorite place. Um, now, uh, I didn't do my donkey. I don't, I feel like I just wanted to look over stuff from class yesterday, look over drugs. I don't know. I'm really tired, so I haven't been super productive, but I'm going to take the end of week quiz. It's always take home the last week. So I'm going to do that now and then go from there. I don't know. I feel fairly ready. So it's like hard, and I'm tired, so it's hard to have the motivation to do much, but I'm gonna do this quiz and go from there. <laughs> All right, let's head to campus. I finished the test. I need to eat. I think the main, like, I don't know what to study. There's so much that like, we already, like you learn on the MCAT that is in endocrine metabolism, like diabetes, hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism. It seems like common sense stuff and I looked over the drugs so I just feel like there's not much else to do other than have a full belly so I can concentrate and not make silly mistakes on my final so I'm gonna eat head to campus early if I have time I'll just do Anki till the test starts and wish me luck <laughs> I don't feel as crappy as I usually do going into finals but I don't think I'll ever go into a final feeling like a hundred percent confident you know so <sighs> a little child I naturally would see magic in the world around me <laughs> look who's back Oakley come here Oakley come here let's <laughs> go I came home, made pasta for Mitch, ugh, Mary and Rich, and then immediately came up here and fell asleep because I was so tired. I went to bed at like 11.30, I think, last night because we were finishing Stranger Things, which was so good, but I don't know why I do this to myself. Like, around 10, I was like, I should go to bed right now. I should go to bed right now. I'm going to be really tired in the morning if I don't go to bed right now. And you know what I did? I stayed up till 11.30. It's 4.40. Find out results of the final at 6 p.m. I have a quick task to do and then George and I are going to go eat sushi because I get like depressed if I like get all stressed for a final. Not that I got super stressed, but this morning was just stressful because it just always is. Like right before I take the exam, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to fail. Um, and I was like really tired, obviously. 
so anyway if i like get stressed like that take a final do this like big thing even though i don't make a big deal about it outwardly <laughs> it's still like it's nice to like acknowledge that you just did a big thing like regardless of whether i felt prepared or not it's just a big weight lifted off my shoulders and it's nice to acknowledge that like hey like good job you know and if I don't do anything for it then I'm like oh I feel crappy and sad I don't know it's weird does anybody else really I don't know but also I basically did that for the MCAT I like had studied all summer and got pushed back because of COVID so it ended up being like five months I was working as an EMT at the same time and then I took the MCAT and then I had nothing planned for the day and George was working and I was just like at home by myself and I was like this is so depressing so if you get anything from this vlog celebrate even the small wins okay like obviously taking the MCAT is huge and I was crazy for not doing anything but like even like every final just have something okay I'm telling you <laughs> it's it's good to do okay quick task then off the sushi Hello guys! Oh my gosh! So, sorry for being the worst vlogger ever, but back from sushi. I, let's see, I read, there's like a million sushi places near our new place, so I think I'd rate it like a, a 6 out of 10. I'm pretty picky, so that's what it gets. Um, results are in though. I got an 88, which is significantly higher than any other final score I've ever gotten. So, time for post-final thoughts. Basically, this post final thoughts is just giving you the tea on what's been going on and why I kind of planned to do well on this final since like right before this block started. You guys know my philosophy, study the past and live my life, right? Like, I don't know if it's a very common philosophy or like, you know, or maybe people just don't talk about it or what, but my mission my first year has been to just like study just enough so that the weekends and the evenings I can live my life and we've been on so many adventures and blah, blah, blah. But what that means is that four, three out of four finals, I think I, I don't know, but basically four finals, it's been like, if I missed one more question, I would have failed technically. So like literally like taking it to the extreme of study just to pass. Like I have passed every single final, I have yet to fail anything in med school, but that's how close I get, like, right? But I'm still passing. And I'm happy with that. Like the lowest finals scores I've gotten have been from blocks where I was like mainly like when I'm launching Road to Acceptance and I'm doing a ton of stuff on social media and I'm like selling my course and doing live webinars and hosting Zoom events. Like in the fall, I had a five day personal workshop where like it's Monday through Friday, we had one hour live sessions, you know, like I'm doing a lot. It's not like I'm like being lazy, right? I'm doing other things besides med school, plus not studying on the weekends kind of thing. So I'm happy with that, but the tea, I guess, that I wanna share with you guys. Um, I get like emails from our, what is it? Student learning committee, learning committee, I don't know. And they're like, hey, like, we're worried about you because of your grade, like, here's our offer for like free tutoring. Like we, re we highly recommend that you take it and we want you to talk with your, compass guide about this like blah 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 and I'm like what the heck like I went to pass fail school so that I could study to pass and I'm passing and then it felt like I was like being punished for passing like I didn't I, like I get it that they just send it to anybody that has close I don't actually I don't get it like I was passing and I was like getting these emails anytime that I was like close um to our like passing grade and it was just really frustrating and I just wanted to have a clear data point that showed like, I don't need tutoring. I am just studying to pass. Like this is the whole goal here. Also first year is only worth 30% of our overall thing and blah, blah, blah. Like clinicals are worth so much more. I don't know, it's just my goal. And anyway, I felt like I was being punished for passing. So also my compass guide had to email them and she also kind of vouched for me where she was like yeah maggie just is like living her life and it's like kind of her goal to ride the line um so that she can enjoy her life um but so i don't know my compass guide having to vouch for me like that i was like okay i need to actually like do well on a final 
so that if they ever if I ever have to have like a meeting with somebody or something I can be like hey look at this final grade like I'm fine <laughs> so anyway that's you know kind of how this block has panned out or my plans for this block so I got an 88 really exciting really great it's like the class average was 83 so I'm just overall like really pumped with that score but also what I did differently was just exact same study schedule as you guys have seen if you've watched the how to create a perfect study routine that is all I do I did not study on the weekends there's one Saturday out of the entire block I did Anki and the rest of the weekend days and plus like the Monday Memorial Day did not study did not do school went to an EDM concert this week um yesterday I didn't do any school because Mary and Rich were in town like we went to Boulder we went to snooze for brunch right like did not change any of that still did very well the only difference I would say is like there were just more days where I stuck to my study routine so I create that study routine and I would say typical blocks like I kind of like slack I'm like I wake up I'm tired I can't get myself to focus I'm just like whatever like just not gonna follow my study routine so this block knowing that I wanted to like prove myself um I just followed my study routine more days than not more days than other blocks and I didn't I kind of ha still had that dip of the last week where I didn't study all day yesterday, but that was because family was in town, so I didn't plan for that. Usually I get very unmotivated and don't study like the whole last week of blocks, <laughs> which is bad. But um, anyway, we're at 5.15. I've been rambling long enough. Hopefully you enjoy this post final thoughts and me sharing your tea, the tea on what actually happens if you just pass because I wasn't expecting that. Anyway proved myself very pumped next block is repro and lifestyle so can't wait to see you guys in the next vlog to see how that goes <laughs>